Hello everyone and welcome to Whiskey Wars. Today we have two Bamores to review today on the channel, but two unpeated Bamores. I recently did a neck pour video of the Bamore 9 year, so I really recommend you go back and watch that video if you haven't already. That's going to be my first impressions of this whiskey. And I'm going to review it today to the number one. Now this whiskey I actually had in one of my most underrated whiskies. I did a, a video a few months back and this was featured. So I, I do have uh, quite a lot of admiration for this whiskey. Now the nine year, if I research this whiskey in England or the UK, I only get the nine year sherry cask matured, which is about £100. This isn't sherry cask matured, this is just the nine year and I can't find any information anywhere on this whiskey. I picked it up in Germany for 33 euros, which is about 27, 28 pounds, I think. So just because I hadn't seen it before, I thought I've got to buy it. And I also I enjoyed the other unpeated but more I had, which is the number one. This whiskey is available in the UK for around 25 pounds. So really, I only paid three pounds more for the nine year. Much older liquid, but is it better or not? I've not reviewed them side by side before, so this is going to be a first for the video now. So I'm really excited to get this review underway. Both these whiskies are bottled at 40% as well. I should say that. But two affordable whiskies. Now, what I would like to mention as well, and I think this is important to mention, and this is why this was on my underrated list, because I think I never see unpeated bourbons uh, on reviews on YouTube or just anyone in the comments mentioning these whiskies. And I thought it was a shame when I tried the number one because I did, did enjoy it. Let's see if the nine year is better than the number one. It should be really, it's nine years, you know, it's older, but let's see. The nose for me, it must just be my taste, but the nose for me is bordering a nine out of 10. It just really, really appeals to me. I get an old book library, an old museum. To me, it smells of history, which is a strange note but it, it does give me that impression. But I get a little bit of wood varnish, which again goes with that old wood library vibe that I'm talking about. But I get a little, just a faint bit of tobacco as well and leather. But it's it's got sweet peat involved in there and also this citrus note and it's a lemon, definitely a lemon. Yeah, I, I, I gotta be honest, I do really like it. Let's compare it to the number one. More different than I realised. First time comparing them. Wow. The number one has a lighter nose than the nine year. Vanilla, cinnamon, oak and leather on the nose. It also smells a little bit oily as well. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, the nine year, it's got that, that varnish involved. And definitely it, it puts me way more towards that old book library, antique, antique shops. Oh, that's a far stronger nose, far stronger. I'd say the lemon's a little stronger in the number one. Certainly some more oak spice in the number one as well. So I'd say the number one's lighter, but a little bit more spicy. A lovely little bit of cinnamon on there though as well, which you don't get on the nine year. I think I've touched on all I can touch on. They're not overly complex whiskies at all. Let's just get straight into the taste. Be before we do though, if you guys haven't clicked the like button, but you're enjoying the video, please do consider doing so. But most importantly, clicking that subscribe button down below. That really helps the channel to grow. So uh, I'd really appreciate it if you've clicked that button down below. Okay. Let's go on to the taste. Wood varnish mixes with the mentholated eucalyptus. Not my favourite note. The the taste pulls the number the nine year. I was going to call it the number nine because that's the number one. The nine year, it pulls it back in my estimations. 
short finish as well. On to the number one. So the vanilla, the cinnamon, the wood spice, they're more present in the number one on the taste. But it's interesting, you do get a little bit of that menthol and eucalyptus mixing with that wood varnish. It's just not going to be anywhere near as strong as the nine year. The nine year is certainly a nutmeg. You're getting a, a, a nutmeg in there. I can't pick up any other spices. It's just nutmeg which is a bit more unusual. It's a very unusual whiskey. Cinnamon is the number one. I've just read the labels on the back as well. The nine year here, it's from Madrid, Spain. And the number one is Glasgow, Scotland, UK. So certainly not for the UK market, but it is good whiskey. The nine year adds a little bit more. It's very subtle though, but it does add to the whiskey once you compare it back to the number one. The nine year has a slight medicinal quality in there, also with wood char. Um, whereas the number one is lighter, it gives that wood spice, but it doesn't really give you medicinal notes. The nine does give you more medicinal notes that I haven't actually picked up on too much before, but they are present in this whiskey. And that very much gives it that Isla presence and balances out those other notes. If you try the, this whiskey, you know it's an Isla. Slight tobacco, slight medicinal qualities with that menthol involved. The number one, sweeter, vanilla, vanilla cream, wood spice, lighter, fresher, but more basic. The nine year is heavier and a lot stronger. So really interesting. I'd imagine, honestly, the nine year is just nine years old, number one spirit, to be honest with you, which is nice. I'm sort of like, I can see that just getting older and turning into this. And I like that. It's a nice comparison to do. I think both these whiskies are fabulous on the nose. They do, that shine gets eroded a little bit on the taste for me. Also, these are two whiskies that I could never daily, just that uniqueness in the flavor profile for me it's just not a daily for me but it's certainly something extremely pleasant to try and the nose i think the nose is just fabulous overall i think the number one is more basic but i think more people would prefer this whiskey this is going to be certainly a marmite whiskey i think 10 percent of people will love this whiskey 90 percent probably hate it I find myself weirdly in that 10%. It's um, it's a really nice whiskey, but the taste does draw it back a little bit for me. It's just very out there in its, in its profile. I hope you learned something from this whiskey war today. Two very unusual whiskies, I've got to be honest, but um, I never see them about. This might be the first review on YouTube of either of these whiskies. I don't know. Um, certainly comparing them, so... If you like the video, please do click that like button down below. And if you haven't already, please do consider clicking that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Thank you so much for watching this Whiskey War and I hope to see you all for the next Whiskey War. I'd just quickly like to give a big, big thank you to my Patreon members who are actively supporting this channel and keep helping keep it releasing reviews. I just want to thank you guys so, so much. If you do want me to say your name, at the end of the videos, please do let me know by sending me a message on Patreon. I might do a poll on there um, because I know I didn't want to do it just in case some people aren't comfortable with me saying their names on uh, YouTube. But I just want to let you guys know I do really, really appreciate all the help you give in the channel. And just finally, thank you. If my Patreon account sounds interesting to any of you watching, I just want to let you guys know I do post a different style of video on my Patreon account every Saturday. Basically, I do a series on there where I give my final thoughts on a bottle of whiskey. So I pour its final few drops before it either goes into the bin or I give the recommendation to buy again. So I do think it has a little bit of value, has a little bit of merit, hopefully helps people with their buying choices in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you all for the next Whiskey War.